go again. I'm not showing any focuses at that location. Shouldn't be anything you can't handle on your own. Carry on. Thanks. On my own, all right.
Uh, going down fast. Oh, they're inside, too. Say again, Lieutenant. I got you. Tight is through the defenses. Still on approach. No mobility in here. It'll punch right through us. We hold the hedge at all costs. Then push back. Too close. Battle. Frozen uh. ice. Time. That does it. Time to take a look around the room. Titan inbound. Same play as Akron. Base defense locks it down. We engage, sever the limbs, blast out the fountains. Are you getting this, Silence? Silence? Looks like quite an enduring victory we put our foot in today. Contact in 30 seconds. Hey, think that's enough time for Sobek to finish Zero Dawn? <laughs> <laughs> if this is really it, I gotta say, it's been an honor to serve beside these tanks. <laughs> Here it comes. Grease for contact! I'm going to show you down the Whatever it is, I can see that it's right there, right? Silence, you getting this? What is it? All these soldiers. They died. I think I'm going to turn I'll keep going and find something interesting. <sighs> been where the soldiers slept. Like the lodge in Mother's heart, I guess. Log. Third Battle of California Marine. The swarm came in from the Pacific, and I don't know if it was the local Minutemen or the Crazy 15th, but they'd set the garbage patch alight. Man, the sea was on fire. That stuff was first wave of bots came in covered in burning sludge. It bought us an hour or two of slaughtering them on the beaches before the swarm recalculated. We pulled them inland, back to the Kalmar sprawl. Dropped buildings on them, EMP'd the grid. Standard operating procedure. <sighs> the last time I was in California, I was... five, six? The light was like that vintage social net filter that was everywhere in the 40s. Log. First battle of the Eastern Seaboard Wall. Had a long run up to it. This was before Kalmar, and projections were a lot worse for the East. For three weeks, we kept getting scrambled out to some coastal burg to train Minutemen. It was always raining on account of Europe already being torched. Block after block of prefab barracks. They were still printing barracks right up until the hour the main force hit. The Minutemen? We ran combat drills with them in the streets where they'd lived, trying to pretend they might live to die somewhere else if they paid attention. Nothing worse than the ones who actually bought into it. Hopeful, pestering us with questions about Zero Dawn, like we know something they don't. I swear, the more we do this, the more like the bots we are. Except they learn from every fight. And us? I'm not so sure. What was this place? Recalls, I've been instructed to remind you of Article 115 of base policy regarding unauthorized use of processor cycles. Specifically, 115C. Any holographic simulation not directly related to operational training or efficiency. Consider yourself reminded, and enjoy your gaming. Uh. 
I know it's been days, honey. I'm so sorry. Deployments are getting real long and tougher every time. The swarm is getting better at predicting us. Less of us now. And we have to put in ten times the work for everyone gone. Like a family business on hard times, only... This isn't my family. It's not with you. I still try to see you. The life we had in the eyes of the people out there. I remember when they were glad to see us. When they still had hope. It all seems to be slipping away. I don't even recognize the places we're defending. The only thing I know I'm still fighting for is... You. Is there a dawn to turn this around? Whatever the hell that is. Thanks for the mails, you. Time goes fast on active duty. Four months with the wreck and recalls. I don't know. Twenty drops. In and out of the West Coast, fighting with these civilian enlistees. Scrappy guys and gals. Their training is basically, here's a DEW. When you see a bot, hit it. <laughs> but somehow it's all coming together. Between us and the 6th MRB, we took down a horse at Lithium Beach. Pulled out before its buddies arrived, but to see a big one go down. I hope we made the news, honey. Showed everyone we're gonna have a shot at turning this around. We just need to give Project Zero Dawn the time it needs, and everything will be the way it used to be. The furnishings were metal. How'd they ever get comfortable? It was the metal world. Guess they were used to it. light. Guess that means no power. <gasps> A holographic interface. It must be some... Oh, that's informative. Sources? That makes one. Hey, y'all wanted to know how I remember the geotherm system reboot? Goes like this. Bird flies north in summer, east in spring, west in fall, and south in winter. Didn't expect to hear nature poetry from the lips of Mike the GT Tech now, did you? As usual, I defy expectations.
That's two. Two more. I'm all right. They're not looking for answers. Just weapons. Have you got anything better to do? Full already. Definitely awake now.
know I mail you too much. I'm just proud of what you're doing. Everyone back home is. We got moved inland 10 kilometers, just as a precaution, they say. School's still in session, so I get to keep my eye on Andrus and Reggie. We never know where or when you're fighting, but when the VTOLs go over, all the kids run out and wave. I believe in you. I know nothing's ever gonna be the same, but I believe in you. I believe in us. Ames? I don't even know if you're alive anymore. The mails I get from you, they say they're from you, but they don't sound... They sound... recycled. Phrases put together, and you don't say anything about the news I pass on. The containment zone, the rebreathers, the rioting, one Earth. What happened in the Dallas bubble, Ames? That wasn't the robots. They won't even give me a straight answer when I demand to know if you're still alive. They just say if your messages keep coming, then you're still operational. It's not fair, Ames. It's not fair that you won't be with me when the lights go out. I love you. That's so sad. Thanks for the mails, you. Time goes fast in active duty. Four months with the wreck and recalls. Fighting with these civilian enlistees. Scrappy guys and gals. That's all coming together. Between us and the 6th MRB, we took down a horse. I hope you made the news, honey. Showed everyone we're turning this around. We just need to give Project Zero Dawn the time it needs. I know it's been days, honey. I'm so sorry. Deployments, uh, getting real long. We have to put in for work for everyone. Like a family business. I still see you in the eyes of the people out there. They were glad to see us. They still had hope. I'm still fighting for you. Status report. 9th Mechanized Response Brigade, Commanding Officer Lieutenant Fiona Morrell. Unit morale continues to be adversely impacted by outbound engagements against the Pharaoh Plague. Especially when said engagements occur in sectors where civilian guard enlistees have been heavily engaged. The scope and nature of fatalities suffered by civilian guard and unarmed civilians in these sectors defy description. And witnessing it is generating a pervasive sense of hopelessness in the unit. Accordingly, I once again request that deployments of the 9th MRB be temporarily refocused on facilities that are mission critical to Project Zero Dawn. And once again, I request an immediate update on the status of Project Zero Dawn's timeline. Why would I think that? 
During eclipses, the shadow cast on the moon is curved. So our world is a globe. And it looks like this, from a distance. We'll discuss this another time. Back to the matter at hand. The Faro robots were spreading across the world, eating everything up. Somehow, Elizabeth stopped them before it was too late. But how? <laughs>